Welcome back to Hourglass. Find yourself a suitable seating position and fasten your seatbelt, because the following news may shock you. Celebrities are at the peak of their careers, but one unfortunate day they receive a positive test result for HIV AIDS and darkness covers the rest of their lives. Meet Pedro Zamora, a beacon of resilience and empowerment. From his high school days, Pedro has carried the weight of being HIV positive with unwavering courage. Instead of succumbing to fear or despair, he boldly embraced his reality, turning it into a powerful message of hope and advocacy. Pedro's journey has seen him transform from a young man grappling with his diagnosis to a dynamic spokesperson, championing the cause of living life to the fullest despite HIV. He has graced countless stages, captivating audiences with his compelling story and inspiring others to embrace their own journeys with grace and determination. Despite facing setbacks, including a decline in his T-cell count due to complications, Pedro's spirit remains unbroken. He continues to crisscross the country, spreading awareness and breaking down stigma, one heartfelt conversation at a time. In a world often overshadowed by fear and prejudice, Pedro Zamora stands as a shining example of resilience, reminding us all that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit can soar. If you want to explore the journey with me, please leave number one and watch this video until the end. Interesting things are waiting for you in the video. In 1985, a seismic revelation shook the world when Rock Hudson bravely disclosed his HIV-positive status. This watershed moment didn't just impact the gay community, it reverberated across society, awakening a collective awareness of the HIV AIDS crisis. Hudson's disclosure shed light on the harsh realities faced not only by gay men, but also by those who unwittingly received tainted blood transfusions or engaged in intravenous drug use. Suddenly, HIV AIDS ceased to be a distant concern confined to marginalized communities. It became a stark reminder of our shared vulnerability. In the aftermath of Hudson's announcement, the world grappled with newfound awareness and urgency. Stigma and discrimination collided head-on with empathy and advocacy, sparking a global conversation that transcended boundaries of sexuality, race, and socioeconomic status. Rock Hudson's courageous revelation marked a pivotal moment in history, igniting a movement that continues to drive progress in HIV AIDS awareness, prevention, and treatment to this day. His legacy serves as a reminder that in the face of adversity, honesty and solidarity can be powerful agents of change. Bill Goldsworthy, a hockey legend, faced a relentless battle against HIV, yet remained entrenched in self-destructive habits like excessive drinking. Despite being the first in his sport to confront AIDS, Goldsworthy aimed to shift the narrative away from mere sexual transmission recognizing the disease as a broader health concern. Even after his passing, whispers and speculation about Goldsworthy's life persist, casting a shadow over his legacy. However, his courage in confronting HIV AIDS and his efforts to destigmatize the conversation surrounding the disease continue to resonate, reminding us of the complexities of human struggle and the enduring impact of one's actions. What's better than starting the day with a delicious cup of tea and watching this fascinating video together? Jim Bullock, renowned for his role in Too Close for Comfort in the late 1990s, has found renewed success in recent years with his involvement in the hit show Glee. Despite his fame, Jim's journey has been shaped by his battle with HIV, a condition that has affected his life in profound ways. Remarkably, Jim belongs to the fortunate 5% of individuals whose HIV virus remains dormant, sparing him from significant health complications. However, the specter of the disease still looms large in his life, having tragically claimed the life of his longtime partner to AIDS. Jim's story serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities surrounding HIV AIDS, from the unpredictable nature of the virus to the devastating impact it can have on loved ones. Through it all, Jim's resilience shines through, a testament to the strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity.
Tim Richmond, a celebrated NASCAR driver, made his mark not only on the racetrack, but also in Hollywood, appearing alongside Burt Reynolds in the film Stroker Ace. Yet, behind the glitz and glamour, Richmond's life was overshadowed by a silent threat. Speculation suggests that Richmond may have been HIV positive when he proposed to his fiancée, possibly contracting the virus as early as the late 1970s. However, due to the lengthy incubation period of HIV, it wasn't until 1986 that he received a diagnosis, shedding light on the unseen battle he had been waging for years. Richmond's story underscores the stealthy nature of HIV AIDS and the challenges of early detection in an era when the virus was still shrouded in mystery and stigma. Despite his personal struggles, Richmond's legacy endures, serving as a cautionary tale and a reminder of the importance of awareness, prevention, and compassion in the face of adversity. Dave Brindle blazed a trail as the first Canadian news anchor to bravely disclose his HIV-positive status during the daunting era of the 1980s when HIV and AIDS were often viewed as insurmountable death sentences. His courageous revelation shattered stereotypes and ignited a much-needed conversation about the disease. In 2009, Brindle's advocacy reached new heights when he took the stage as a guest speaker at the Canadian AIDS Society's World AIDS Day event, lending his voice to the ongoing fight against the epidemic. Additionally, he used his platform to host his own radio show, further amplifying awareness and fostering dialogue around HIV AIDS. Through his unwavering courage and determination, Dave Brindle not only challenged stigma but also inspired countless individuals to confront the realities of HIV AIDS with resilience and compassion. His legacy continues to serve as a beacon of hope and empowerment for those affected by the disease, proving that even in the face of adversity, one person's voice can spark profound change. Even in death, the legacy of Eric Lynn Wright, known as Easy A, continues to be shrouded in speculation and rumors surrounding the circumstances of his HIV infection and the rapid onset of AIDS before his passing in 1995. These rumors serve as a sobering reminder of the misconceptions and dangers surrounding HIV AIDS. Easy e story highlights the importance of understanding the realities of HIV AIDS and the critical need for education, prevention, and access to healthcare. His tragic experience serves as a cautionary tale, dispelling any notion that this disease can be easily overcome or ignored. As we reflect on Easy es life and the impact of his untimely death, we are reminded of the ongoing battle against HIV AIDS and the need for continued vigilance and support for those affected by the disease. Easy es legacy lives on not only through his music, but also as a reminder of the importance of awareness and proactive measures in combating HIV AIDS in our communities. Please comment number one to let me know that you will be with us until the end of this video. In 1991, the world mourned the loss of one of rock music's most iconic figures, Freddie Mercury, whose larger-than-life persona captivated audiences around the globe. The shocking announcement of his AIDS diagnosis sent shockwaves through his fan base, bringing the reality of the epidemic to the forefront of public consciousness. Tragically, Mercury's battle with AIDS was short-lived, and he passed away soon after his condition was made public. However, his memory lives on through the enduring legacy of his music and the impactful work of his bandmates. In honor of Mercury's legacy and in recognition of the devastating toll of AIDS, his bandmates established the Mercury Phoenix Trust, a charity dedicated to raising awareness and funding for AIDS research and support. Through their efforts, the Mercury Phoenix Trust continues to make a difference in the lives of those affected by HIV AIDS carrying on Freddie Mercury's legacy of compassion and advocacy long after his passing. Robert Reed, renowned for his portrayal of Mike Brady in the beloved sitcom The Brady Bunch, exemplified resilience in the face of adversity. Despite being diagnosed with HIV, Reed refused to let the disease define him or overshadow his illustrious career. With unwavering determination, 
Reed continued to pursue his passion for acting, leaving an indelible mark on both television and film. While he may be best remembered for his iconic role in The Brady Bunch, Reed's talents extended far beyond the small screen, with memorable performances in movies such as Indy Jones and BL. Throughout his life, Reed courageously kept his HIV diagnosis a secret, choosing to focus on his craft and the joy it brought him, rather than allowing his illness to dictate his narrative. His ability to persevere and thrive despite facing significant challenges serves as a powerful reminder that one's true legacy is not defined by circumstances, but by the strength of character and the impact they leave on the world. Don't rush to escape this boring video and forget comment number two, I will change it if I know you hate it. Following the band's move to Cedar, significant changes occurred within the group. Tom Fogarty's departure from the band marked a pivotal moment, leading to a fracture that was never fully healed. Despite the success of its like Proud Mary and Have You Ever Seen the Rain? The rift between Tom Fogarty and the band stemmed from a variety of factors, including creative differences and personal conflicts. Despite efforts to reconcile, the wounds remained deep, preventing a complete restoration of their former camaraderie. Although Creedence Clearwater Revival continued to enjoy commercial success and critical acclaim, the absence of Tom Fogarty left an undeniable void within the band. Nevertheless, their enduring legacy and timeless music continue to resonate with audiences worldwide, serving as a testament to their talent and influence in the world of rock and roll. Howard Rollins, acclaimed for his talent and versatility, earned recognition with a nomination for Best Supporting Actor at the Emmy Awards. His compelling portrayal on the soap opera, Another World in 1982, opened doors to roles that reflected the depth of his talent, reminiscent of his notable debut in the film Ragtime. Tragically, Rowland's life was cut short by complications stemming from his HIV-positive status, ultimately succumbing to lymphoma. Despite facing adversity, Rowland's enduring legacy lives on through his groundbreaking performances, serving as a testament to his immense talent and profound impact on the world of entertainment. John Curry, the 1,976 Olympic champion renowned for his innovative blend of ice skating and ballet, revolutionized the sport with his unparalleled skill and artistry on the rink. His visionary approach captivated audiences worldwide, elevating figures skating to new heights. Tragically, Curry's life was cut short at the age of 44. After receiving a diagnosis of HIV, he made the courageous decision to return to England from New York, where he sought to confront the stigma surrounding the disease. In his final days, Curry advocated for openness and honesty about living with HIV, urging others to speak out and demystify the diagnosis. His bravery and determination to challenge misconceptions and foster understanding continue to inspire, leaving a lasting impact on the figure skating community and beyond. Curry's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of authenticity and advocacy in the face of adversity. To dispel the misconception that HIV slash AIDS affects only men, consider the case of Amanda Blake, best known for her role as Miss Kitty on the iconic television series Gunsmoke. Despite her official cause of death being listed as throat cancer, Blake was also HIV positive, a fact that highlights the disease's indiscriminate nature. Moreover, Blake's husband was also HIV positive, underscoring the reality that HIV slash AIDS can affect individuals from all walks of life regardless of gender or social status. Their shared experience serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of awareness, prevention, and compassion in the fight against HIV AIDS. By shedding light on Blake's story, we not only honor her memory, but also continue the conversation about HIV AIDS, emphasizing the need for education, support, and solidarity in addressing this global health challenge. Don't forget to drink a cup of tea to quench your thirst and comment number one to let me know that you are still watching this video.
Kevin Peter Hall, a towering figure in both Hollywood and television, captured audiences' hearts with his memorable performances. From portraying the lovable Harry and Harry and the Hendersons to the menacing predator in the sci-fi classic of the same name. Standing at an impressive 7 feet 2 inches, Hal's physical presence was as distinctive as his talent. Tragically, Hall's life took a devastating turn in 1991 when a car accident necessitated blood transfusions, leading to him contracting HIV. Despite his diagnosis, Hal continued to grace screens both big and small, showcasing his versatility as an actor on various TV shows and films. His story serves as a stark reminder of the dangers and consequences of HIV AIDS, even for individuals as beloved and seemingly invincible as Kevin Peter Hall. Though he may no longer be with us, his legacy lives on through his iconic performances and the awareness his story brings to the ongoing battle against HIV AIDS. In a poignant interview, Robin Crosby expressed his desire to spare others from the emotional upheaval of discovering they were HIV positive. Despite facing his own health challenges, including potential effects on his immune system, Crosby remained steadfast in his commitment to humanity. The weight of his condition and the stress it brought never detracted from Crosby's authenticity as a human being. He continued to navigate life with resilience and grace, refusing to let his diagnosis define him or dampen his spirit. Crosby's unwavering determination to raise awareness and support others in similar situations serves as a testament to his strength of character and compassion. His legacy reminds us of the importance of empathy, advocacy, and solidarity in facing adversity and supporting those affected by HIV AIDS. Isaac Asimov, the visionary science fiction writer, left behind a legacy that transcends time. Ten years after his passing in 1992, a revelation emerged from his wife, shedding light on a significant contributor to his death, a blood transfusion during a heart bypass surgery. What adds an ironic twist to Asimov's story is his early support for the LGBT community back in the 1960s. At a time when such advocacy was rare, Asimov stood as an ally, championing equality and acceptance. The irony lies in the fact that despite Asimov's progressive views and contributions to social change, the doctors involved in his care chose to conceal the truth about the blood transfusion, denying him and his loved ones the transparency and dignity they deserve. Asimov's story serves as a reminder of the complexities of human existence and the importance of transparency and accountability in medical care. Even in death, his legacy continues to provoke thought and reflection on the values he espoused and the ideals for which he stood. Gia Karangi, revered as the world's first supermodel, captivated the fashion world with her mesmerizing presence and striking beauty. From humble beginnings working at her father's restaurant to gracing the covers of prestigious magazines like Vogue in the US, Britain, France, and Italy, Karangi's ascent to stardom seemed unstoppable. However, amidst the glitz and glamour of the fashion industry, Karangi's life took a tragic turn when she was diagnosed with HIV in 1985. Her journey serves as a poignant reminder that neither fame nor fortune could shield her from the devastating effects of the virus. Karanji's risky lifestyle, marked by drug use and unhealthy choices, eventually took its toll on her career and personal life. Despite her unparalleled success on the runway, her demons caught up with her, leading to her career faltering and her descent into a life of abuse and homelessness. Her story serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the dangers of addiction and the importance of prioritizing health and well-being. Karangi's legacy lives on as a symbol of both the allure and pitfalls of fame, and as a reminder of the need for compassion and understanding in the face of adversity. Holly Johnson, the charismatic frontman of Frankie, goes to Hollywood, faced a life-altering diagnosis of HIV in 1991. 
Over the years, he has confronted not only the challenges of living with HIV, but also the development of diabetes as a side effect of his condition. Remarkably, despite the complexities of his health journey, Johnson finds himself amazed and grateful to still be alive 23 years after his diagnosis. This remarkable longevity stands as a testament to both the advancements in medical treatments for HIV and Johnson's resilience in coping with the condition. Johnson's story serves as a powerful tribute to the progress made in HIV treatment and management, as well as to his own strength and determination in facing adversity. His resilience and perseverance continue to inspire others, offering hope and encouragement to those living with HIV and other chronic illnesses. In a bold move to dispel rumors and speculation surrounding his health, Charlie Sheen, the newest member of those publicly disclosing their HIV status, took proactive steps to address the issue head-on. He penned a letter and made a television appearance to courageously announce that he is HIV positive. Since his disclosure, Sheen has demonstrated a commitment to managing his condition by adhering to medication regimens. As a result, recent blood tests have shown no detectable signs of the virus, underscoring the effectiveness of modern treatments in controlling HIV. Sheen's decision to speak openly about his diagnosis not only helps to combat stigma and misinformation surrounding HIV, but also serves as a reminder of the importance of regular testing, treatment adherence, and destigmatizing conversations about HIV slash AIDS. His journey highlights the progress made in HIV management and the power of transparency and education in empowering individuals to take control of their health. Sheen's courage and advocacy continue to inspire others affected by HIV and contribute to the ongoing fight against the virus. Magic Johnson, who turned 56 in 1991, has now been publicly living with HIV for 24 years. His longevity and continued health stand as a testament to the effectiveness of modern medications and his unwavering commitment to adhering to them. Johnson's resilience and determination to manage his condition have defied expectations and shattered stereotypes surrounding HIV. His public advocacy and open discussions about living with the virus have helped to educate and empower others, demonstrating that HIV is not a death sentence. Indeed, Johnson's journey serves as a beacon of hope for those living with HIV showing that with proper treatment and care, individuals can lead long and fulfilling lives. His legacy extends beyond the basketball court, inspiring millions worldwide to embrace life with courage and optimism in the face of adversity.